I'm Sarah Hess. I'm supervising producer on the show, and I wrote Larger Than Life. Well, I think the idea for this story came out of... There's been a couple of incidents of people who jump under subways to save strangers, and what is that about? I'd sort of been fascinated by that for a long time. Like, What separates the guy who jumps onto the tracks to save somebody from the other 300 people who just stood there and, frankly, didn't want to get their pants dirty? Are you crazy? Or, you know, or is that a hero? Is that an evolved human being? How taking heroism as a symptom is totally something... We can't not do that on our show. House is a skeptical human being. He would never take that at face value. There's He does not believe that humans are altruistic and just do nice things for each other for no apparent gain to themselves or just to be good people. That doesn't really gel in his world. Shooting the teaser, uh, we shot it in the North Hollywood subway station which was running, so we had to, like, dur actually during the beginning of shooting that teaser, we were on one track shooting, and people were just coming in on the other, it was around 10 o'clock, we started at 7 o'clock at night, and we had to be out by 9 o'clock the next morning, so we started shooting, and people were taking the train into North Hollywood to hang out and go clubbing, so, like, what you can't see is on the other track, people getting out in, like, little short shorts and boots, and just staring at us from across the way, going, what's going on? We didn't get everything that we needed. Um, and so we actually ended up shooting a lot of the parts on the tracks on our stages and our art department did an unbelievable job of recreating the exact subway station we've been shooting in a few days. When I walked in, I couldn't believe it. Like, it, it looked exactly the same down to the tracks and the ties on the tracks and the tile. So I, I challenge you to find the difference. Matthew Lillard, was he was amazing through the entire show. I think, honestly, I've, this is my sixth year on the show. He's one of the best most amazing guest cast members I've ever worked with. He was such a pleasure. It just brought everything to this role that beyond what we could have imagined. The Taub poster story um, is something I've been trying to do for over two years now, and it's just because I love Peter Jacobson. He makes me laugh, and I just wanted to have a giant blow up of his head. Then it turned out that Taub, uh, that Rachel was having this uh, emotional friend affair sort of on the internet and so I had to work that into what was essentially going to be a comic story but it turned out that where I fell in the rotation it ended up being much more about the head representing his better self and what he wanted to do you know what he knew he should do and couldn't do and at the end that image of him throwing the water balloons I think it, it that was not in the original concept but when it fit in it just came out so naturally and it was so beautiful and what you don't know is that in that last scene when Taub is standing on the street throwing the water balloons at his big giant head on the wall about 20 feet off to the side are Cal Penn and Olivia Wilde who drove down to Santa Monica that night because they'd heard they were like Peter's gonna be throwing water balloons at his own head are you kidding me so they all drove down and they're they're standing sort of 20 feet off frame cheering uh, we knew we wanted to do a story on Cuddy's mom and I ended up sort of in the rotation ended up with that story and I actually wrote this part with Candace Bergen in mind. Um, when I was pitching it, I would say, you know, she's a Candace Bergen type. And when she said yes, I'm, I kind of lost my mind. Like, she's, she's a legend and somebody that I look up to intensely. So the fact that we got her was just mind-blowing. She's a class act. Uh, they don't make them like that anymore. The dinner scene was super fun to write. The drugging thing, I have to give credit to Russ Friend for. I think that it was probably his original idea. We shot that drugging scene, I don't know how many times, because nobody ever made it through all the way. They, they were laughing so hard. Hugh, I think, just was crying, and th there would be a point in everything where we had to stop. It. I think the, the cut that we actually used, Hugh off-camera get, has gotten up and left the room so they could continue, because if he stayed there, he would they wouldn't have been able to finish. I didn't think we were going to get through it, but we ultimately did, and I really think it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. No thanks to myself. Um, it's, all, it's all basically Candace and Robert. What happens with House and Cuddy is going to be very, it's complicated. Dating Cuddy and trying to act like a normal human being and somebody that could be her boyfriend must be incredibly tiring for him, because that's not his normal uh, persona. And, and I think anyone who thinks it's not going to be complicated hasn't seen our show and doesn't understand the problems inherent in dating somebody like House, they're going to have a lot of challenges. And it's going to be an interesting, an interesting couple of weeks.